So I'm a hematologist oncologist at Children's Hospital of Boston. I find when I'm seeing a patient, it gives me an impetus to go back into the laboratory and to find new therapies for that patient. My laboratory studies the zebrafish. They're a one and a half inch fish that you can buy at the pet store for about $1.50. The gene set that a fish has is very similar to the human gene set. And my lab is really one of the first to try to model human diseases as a result of the zebrafish. Zebrafish was a very small field at the very beginning. At the time, it was extremely chancy to actually take on zebrafish. If you came to my laboratory, you would see a huge fish facility with 3,000 tanks. It's one of the largest aquaria in the world. You can make mutant zebrafish. We have red fish, we have green fish, we have blue fish. This is an adult zebrafish that's completely transparent. Essentially, we erase the stripes of a zebrafish, and we called it Casper. You can see the eggs inside the females, you can see the blood vessels, and uh, it got a lot of press. Researchers at Children's Hospital in Boston have genetically engineered transparent fish. Well, I thought it was fantastic. You can actually read the newspaper through the zebrafish. So I love going down into the fish room and actually uh, looking at all the different fish in the tanks. We have a number of fish that have cancer and we're trying to cure those fish and trying to understand more about the biology of those tumors. We've discovered a new gene that causes melanoma in humans by our work in the zebrafish. Really an excellent score for the zebrafish field. Zebrafish has had a huge impact on my life and career.